Hello everyone! Today I am back with a video to show you what I bring in my makeup bag when I go on holidays to France in the summertime. In the winter time I usually bring different colors. I like slightly darker colors for the winter and slightly brighter color for the summer. So here is what I brought. I decided to limit myself to just one make a bag believe me i used to bring a lot more just for you never know there may be such and such occasions and i like to change my makeup around a lot but this is the makeup bag i use it's actually my everyday makeup bag it's by zoella beauty and it says just say yes and i love the size of it and i love the color scheme of it it fits everything i need and everything fits just right so he doesn't do you know the way they throw your suitcases around and if you have a massive makeup bag everything just jumps around and you can be sure that all the powder um, containers are broken. This one just holds everything right so I know that even if they throw because they will throw my suitcase uh, I probably will end up with everything intact at the end of the trip. So when I go to France in the summer because it's very warm I don't actually wear a lot of makeup on my face. I have to reapply sunscreen a lot so if I had foundation and everything on it would just not be really worth it. So I have just brought a primer which is my everyday primer which is the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion. This one is for dry skin and I think they have this equivalent for oily skin and this is my everyday powder foundation. Um, I usually use it over on other foundation, but um, I can just use it on its own, it's enough. I prefer to use a powder based uh, foundation for the summer because if I put something too oily on my skin first it feels very heavy and I don't like it or it feels just sticky like it doesn't dry, at least this is absorbing a little bit of the moisture that would be on my skin. Then I also bring just in case you never know, I probably will end up not using it, but you might end up with that nasty mosquito bite all over your face. Uh, so it's my um, concealer and it's the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. I bought that one whenever I bought the foundation. It's okay, there's nothing amazing about it. Um, I wouldn't desperately go back to buy this one. It does the job, but that's about it really, but I'm bringing it anyway. Then I am bringing a small set of brushes and I'm saying small even if it might be big compared to what some of you use but I like to use a lot of different brushes and um, I'm just trying to limit myself to exactly what I will need. So I have a big um, fluffy powder brush. I'm sorry my brushes are not clean because I've just done my makeup. Um, this one is the Bobbi Brown powder brush. I have a lot of Bobbi Brown brushes because whenever I was training I had the full Bobbi Brown set so I've only added to my collection after that. Oops! I just dropped something. The next thing which is what I dropped is uh, my tweezers. Uh, they are Sephora tweezers and um, I always bring a pair with me just in case. Uh, you never know whenever you have a little eyebrow sticking out and you might need it. Then. I have a blusher brush. This one is a Virgin V brush. I used to be a um, consultant for Virgin V and I had the set so but I like the size of this one because it's quite small and it's perfect to do the apple of the cheek. And then all the rest of my brushes are eye brushes. So I have a Sephora Professional 13 to crease brush. I have a Bobbi Brown eye blender and I have um, MAC 217 and I have my Urban Decay, this is the one that comes in the Naked 3 palette and the last one is an eyebrow brush which is my favorite eyebrow brush ever by Bobbi Brown. So that's all the brushes I am bringing with me. It's basically what I would use on a daily basis as well so I'm just sticking with that I'm not bringing I have about a million other eye brushes and things like that but I will just leave them behind for my blusher I am bringing two different blushes the first one is the one I use every day which is the Madly by NARS it is a brown with a very slight shimmery effect 
that's how what I would wear on a daily basis. And if I want something a little bit more summery, I am using it is Coral by Bobby Brown, and it is, as the name says, a coral color. And I'll try and show you. It has some gold shimmer. There, you might see it. There you go. Some gold shimmer through it. So it is quite summery. It does look a bit darker in there than it is in real life. But that's actually what I am wearing. Let's see, that's the one I have on at the moment. Then, one step I usually don't miss, um, even if I'm just putting a little bit of makeup, is my eyebrows. I have ginger eyebrows, obviously, and I don't like them too fair and I don't like them too dark. I'm very picky about my eyebrows, which is why whenever they were dyed too dark a few weeks back, it really bothered me for quite some time. And I have found about five years ago one thing that I have been using since. It's actually still the same one I have and it's barely used. It is um, Eyebrow Cake by Ila Masca and this color is called Peak and it's the perfect color for my eyebrows. These are my eyebrows there. They still have some of the dye but not a lot. Um, it just fills in the little gaps and I think just lifts the eyes a lot especially when you're sleep deprived and you need a little booster. That's perfect. So moving on to the eyes, uh, the next thing I have actually never brought before, I just got them yesterday, they are the Color Tattoo 24 Hours by, um, I think it's L'Oreal, no Maybelline, sorry, Maybelline, I got the one in Eternal Gold and On and On Bronze, so they are a cream shadows, um, and from what I've read and heard, they are very durable and very waterproof, which is what you want whenever it is very warm and you're probably going to be sweating or going to the beach or going in a swimming pool and you want something that's going to stay on. I have them on today, a bit mixed together. Just adds a little bit more if you want to brighten your eyes a little bit. And then this is where it's very hard for me. I love eyeshadows so much. If there's one item I could never get enough of, it's eyeshadows. I usually prefer powder shadows because I think they're more versatile. And until now, I was actually bringing several palettes with me. Until last year when I realized in the summer, I actually only used two colors in my Naked 3 palette the whole summer. So I decided no, I will be brave and I will bring one palette. The problem being that in my more expensive palettes, I'm always scared of them being broken during the trip. And there's something I had been wanting to try for a long time and I haven't tried yet at all. So I will let you know after my holidays how it went. It's uh, this palette by Maybelline, it's called The Nudes and it is a selection of nude colors, a lot of browns. I've actually never opened it and <laughs> I can do that now. Um, yes, I wanted something they can wear every day. Um, they, I have different occasions whenever I go there. Uh, we have a christening. I'm celebrating my 30th birthday party. So I want to be able to do daytime and nighttime makeup without having to bring too much. So with that I can easily uh, build up quite a lot of different looks. So it has a lot of browns and goldy shades and creams and there's some mattes and some shimmery ones. So I should be able to do plenty of things with that. I will let you know after the holidays how it went but this is what I'm bringing eyeshadow wise for this time. Then I am bringing two mascaras. The reason why is because I don't really like to wear waterproof mascara on a daily basis. I usually never wear it unless I have to but whenever it's warm I feel like sometimes you can just rub your eyes and or you go to the pool and you end up with um, mascara all over your face. So uh, I'm bringing my normal mascara at the moment. I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I discovered it in the Naked On The Go palette and I really liked it so I decided to buy a bigger size one and I'm really liking it. And then uh, whenever I have to buy waterproof mascara, for some reason I always go back to this one. It's the Colossal Go Extreme Volume in uh, Waterproof. I like that it has a very big brush. That is if I can open the mascara. It's brand new, so there we go. 
so it has a really fat brush which I like. Um, I have long lashes and at the moment they are dyed and curled so I don't really need that much mascara but I just need a little bit more to make it uh, look a bit bigger and then the next two things are this is the eyeliner I would use on a daily basis the Master Precise Ooh, doesn't want to focus in black it is one of the marker ones and they now have it in brown so I thought I would give it a go as well in brown. They are not waterproof and they do transfer so most of the time unless I have a um, special occasion like I wouldn't wear it every day during the daytime in France. And then on to lip products. The first thing I always bring is a um, nude um, lip liner. This one is called Rosie by New CID Cosmetics which is a brand I used to work for before so that's why I still have this one um, it is very close to my natural lip color so I find if I just have this one I can use any shade of lipsticks and it works um, I usually fill in my whole lips to get it to stick uh, to the lipstick if I want it to last longer but in the summertime unless I have an occasion once again I just use some more moisturizing lipstick on their own the one that I have on and I probably would use the most is the Bourjois Color Boost. It's like one of these chubby pencils um, and it's very very moisturizing. It stays on quite well and it doesn't. it's not sticky. I don't like to have anything sticky on my lips and it just adds a little bit more color I think uh, even if you have barely anything on. Sometimes I would just wear a bit of mascara and this and that's it and it does the job. Then I am bringing a proper lipstick um, just for whenever I want to look a bit more drawn up that's what I would use with my um, lip pencil. It is one of my MAC um, lipsticks and this one is called Crosswires and I really like this one. And then the ones I would use on a daily basis would be uh, the um, Revlon Color Boost, Color Burst Lip Butter, sorry. Um, I'm bringing only, I have about six of them I think. I love these ones because they are, I'll show you. They don't, um, they are not very strongly colored and they are very moisturizing. I'm only bringing a pinky one and a red one. So I'm bringing candy apple and um, this one is pink truffle, which is more of a nude one. Um, there's no point, last year I brought all the ones I had and ended up using a pink one and a, a red one and that was it. So I just thought I'll just pick one of each and that will do and that's actually it I was double checking thinking is that it because usually I have a lot more so yes that's that's it and I'll show you when everything is in the bag as you can see everything fits there and I can close the bag no problem and bring it on my holiday so I'll see you in another video I will let you know after I come back how the um, palette worked and how the waterproof ones held in the heat and the sun and at the beach and at the swimming pool and I hope you have a lovely holiday and that it is really a lot sunnier than it is here we are in Northern Ireland and right now it's grey and rainy and I feel like we're in October and I cannot wait to go on the plane to finally feel like summer has arrived I'm still waiting for it so I hope you have a nice warm and sunny holiday and until the next video bye